I had an intriguing idea the other day. One of the most tedious tasks for an online business is creating SEO optimized content for your website. There's a lot of keyword research involved where we're looking for search trends for the different countries. We look at popularity, which is average monthly searches, and then we look for trends and also competition. We collect the best ones. We'd maybe save it to a Google Sheets and then send it to our content writers with the goal of creating articles and eventually ranking at the top of Google search results, getting us traffic to our website. But what if an AI agent could do this for us? This is where my idea came in. Okay, this is a brand new MS Paint. I've never tried this before. Looks pretty cool on the new Windows 11. But let's say we start with a keyword. We have bodybuilding. And from that initial keyword, we can start targeting some semantic long tail ones. Like muscle growth, maybe exercises. You know, we're kind of building a keyword web. How about supplements? So we have the main keyword and then the inner web. And if we look on Google Ads Keyword Planner, when you type in bodybuilding, they give you keyword relevance. Look at this, best supplements for muscle growth. These are the keywords or key phrases that are most relevant to bodybuilding. Gym supplements, bodybuilding supplements, meal plan for muscle gain. They say there's 1,321 keywords. And as you get further down the list, the keywords get less relevant but they're still an important part of an overall keyword web. World famous bodybuilder, worldwide bodybuilders, Yates bodybuilder. So I thought it'd be perfect if an AI agent would do the keyword research for you, start building out this web and it get deeper and deeper. And honestly, it'd be awesome if this never stopped because content marketing never stops. And this is where I came up with the endless blogger. You set this AI agent up once for your website using a seed keyword or a target niche, and it will work nonstop on your behalf behind the scenes until you fire it. Let me show you how it's done. First, head on over to youraiagent.com. Your AI agent is a comprehensive business suite of AI agents. Enter your name, email address, password, click sign up, then go to the settings page where you wanna connect your website. We have multiple website integrations available right now. We have Blogger, Framer, Ghost.org, Hashnode, HubSpot, Shopify, Supabase. This is if you have a database and you want to manually connect it to multiple different website creators. We have Webflow, WordPress.com, and WordPress.org. For this video, I'm going to set up a WordPress.org website. If you don't see your integration on the screen, please write it in the comments below. I'm just waiting for input before I add the other websites. So if you have an idea that's not covered here, please write it down. So after clicking the wordpress.org tab, brings us to this page, and we're gonna connect via the plugin. So first you wanna download the plugin to your computer. It's gonna download it into your browser. Then you're gonna go to your wordpress.org dashboard, and first you wanna grab your URL. So it's everything after https colon forward slash forward slash, mineswestfrank.com. Go back into your AI agent and paste it in. I can name it the same thing. And now we need an API key. So on the plugins tab, you're gonna click add new plugin, upload plugin, choose file, choose that zip file we just downloaded, click install now, activate plugin, then go to your users and you can create a new user, but make sure it has an editor role. This will allow us to use the API. And if you go on the edit page and scroll all the way down to the bottom, you see an API key section. This is what the plugin created. You can copy this code and paste it in here. So a few things you need to know. If you click connect and it doesn't connect, go to settings, permalinks, and make sure anything but plain is selected. I like to use a custom structure where it shows the category and then the post name. Another example is just the post name. If that still doesn't work, Try adding www dot to the start of your website URL. That sometimes fixes the problem. And the last check is to disable Cloudflare. This blocks API access. Some websites have that. The exact Cloudflare setting that's causing interruptions is called bot fight mode. So if you turn that off, it should connect. Okay, I'm gonna click connect. There we go, we get a notification. Your wordpress.org website is connected. I can click okay. And now I see the connection down here on the connections page with all of my other integrations. Now we can go to the home page 
And what we're looking for is the brand new agent. It's called Endless Blogger. So it automates content creation by generating daily relevant articles that perfectly align with your existing content. It continuously analyzes your previously published articles to automatically discover fresh related keyword opportunities every single day. It produces engaging SEO friendly blog posts tailored specifically to your niche, ensuring that each keyword and article is unique and never repeated. Like I showed you earlier, we're building a keyword web for your website. And once an article about bodybuilding has been created, we store that keyword in our database and it never creates another article around that keyword. It moves on to the next one, then the next one, never repeating as the web gets wider and wider and wider. And eventually your business website will have a huge amount of content on it, targeting all these different keywords with different competitions, hopefully bringing traffic to your business website. First thing is to choose your connection. These are all the websites that you've integrated. Then choose whether you want to publish the articles or not. Send them to draft is untoggled. Next, we need a seed keyword. As the AI agent builds out the keyword web, it's always going to fall back on what your main niche is. So I did bodybuilding as an example earlier in the video. I'm going to stick with that. It's going to build a web out from that keyword. Next is the title prompt. It's going to guide the agent in creating content aligned with your vision. This kind of opens it up so you don't just have to create blog post articles. You can actually create any type of content for your website. But in this example, I say you are a viral copy SEO assistant. I want you to generate an attention grabbing SEO friendly article title, seven to 12 words. It includes the user supplied keyword exactly once near the beginning, no dates, years or emojis. You can change that up to your preference, give you a max of 1000 characters to fool around with it. Next is the article prompt. This is top level instructions describing what the agent is supposed to do and how it should behave and respond. The dynamic data that we're including is the article's title and the keyword. And again, I start you off with a simple prompt, basically write a 1200 to 1600 word article ranking for the targeted keyword. Also using the exact title that's also supplied as the primary headline. I want it to mention the keyword within the first 100 words and keep overall density natural. Organize with clear descriptive subheadings, include bulleted or numbered lists, add a short FAQ section, maybe cite an external source, and conclude with a persuasive call to action paragraph. I'm giving you 5,000 characters for this prompt so you can make it sound exactly how you want it to sound. Next is a humanizer option. So if you toggle this on, it's going to humanize the AI output. I don't think this is necessary, but some people like to score low on that AI content generated score. I don't think it matters for SEO, but in this you can choose readability or you can remove common AI words. Just a word of note, this does send your content into a complete humanizer spinner using the current best practices. So it's going to rewrite your content. And if you're very particular in what you want to write, I would recommend toggling this off. Next is the image prompt. We generate one to two images per post and the prompts are completely unique and relevant to your content. At the end of the prompt, you can add some keywords. Think of this like a mid journey prompt. And if I want it to be bright, eye catching, minimalist, vibrant colors, clean design, high resolution, you can add those words in there. We can also choose an image model. We have a few to choose from right now. One of my favorites is Flux Schnell. Next is boilerplate text. So it's a standard text block for company details, contact info, whatever you want added automatically to the end of each post. It's going to be consistent across all of your content. Maybe something like contact me at heywesfrank at gmail.com. Then we have categories and tags. If you have a WordPress website, this pulls from your categories and tag section of the website. I have two categories right here for testing purposes. I also have just one tag and you'll see them when you click in this input box. Now I can click start agent. It takes you to the workflows page where you can see all of your active and running AI agents. Here is this one endless blogger bodybuilding. I can click on the info button. You're going to see when the next post is this AI agent runs every single day. You can see the previous keyword that it created. And for this upcoming article, it's writing about protein intake. You can see any error logs or you can click on edit workflow and change any of the settings of your running AI agent. 
You can see we have a previous post now and an output history. We got optimizing your protein intake for better health and fitness. Perfect title. And if I click on the link, it takes me to my WordPress website. I see a beautiful AI image generated and we have the full article down here. It even built a little chart within the article. If you're curious what we're using to generate the articles, we're using the new GPT 4.1 models. If you want to have your SEO content strategy on autopilot, running around the clock so you don't have to touch a thing, let an AI agent worry about that for you so you can focus on the more important tasks. I'll leave a link to youraiagent.com in the description below. If you're curious as to how I built all these AI agents, or maybe you have an idea for an AI agent and want to turn it into a profitable web app, check out my online course, How to Build a Custom AI App. I'll drop a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Later.